I'm a public figure, by the way. 40 years old, Indianapolis. New boy dad, adventurer, writer, sommelier, bartender, chef, baker, by way of Indianapolis to Asia to Paris, back to Indy. 110-ish countries visited, 37 tattoos, and I'm a Virgo. <laughs> That's me. Second breakfast is so stressful. Second breakfast is so stressful. <laughs> I see you. I see you. Do you need a break? Do you need a break? Do you need a break? Okay. That's like two. That's good. We'll just we'll take a we'll take a little break. Okay. We just got one more ounce left. And then we can just stare at each other for a while before we put you into the chair. I've never spent more time with any baby than I did with him within the first 24 hours of him being born. Like, I never changed a diaper before. The number of babies that I held, I could count on like one hand probably. <laughs> so this is really my first baby, first newborn, first all those things. I had pretty much written off being a dad. So when I made that decision, when I was 35, when I made the decision that I was not gonna be returning back to the US, that I was gonna be moving to Paris, and that I was going to sort of be embracing this world of travel and adventure. It sounds kind of hokey, but it, it's true. It's not easy to find a partner who is <laughs> who's, who's super cool with, with her, her dude uh, being gone six months out of the year. How's it going? It's going. He ate four ounces, so. Hi. Hi. I want to try to put it down. Because I'm going to finish running errands okay. and you're that going I didn't to... get to yesterday and then going over to my parents at five. Yeah, you're going there, okay. So it's going to be a boys' night. Boys' night! So I came back in October 2019 uh, from Paris. And one of my the first things I did when I got into town was I had dinner and, and drinks lined up with uh, my friend Claire, who she and I dated off and on for 10 years, been friends for 14 years. Um, very important person in my life. And we had sort of had this ongoing conversation uh, over the previous few years where she was not super happy with, with sort of her relationships and not, not very certain about if those were folks that she wanted to have like a child with. I kind of knew it in my gut that she was gonna ask me if I'd be interested in being that donor. And I didn't really know what I was gonna say, but um, but at the time, I was just like, well, here, how about this? How about we do that, but instead of just being a donor, how about we raise this kid together? Because it made perfect sense at the time. It was just that we would be able to have sort of the best of both worlds where I'd still be able to do this, this, this travel stuff, but know that my son is exactly where I've always said that I would want to raise a kid, which is, you know, Indianapolis. I'm going to change him <laughs> and change his, his onesie because it's wet from his little drool. Oh, okay. Okay, let's change this diaper. Let's change this diaper. You ready? You ready? Okay. What kind of diaper are we dealing with here? My lifestyle compared to AJ's is 100% uh, opposite, um, which was a big part of the decision um, to have a baby. I have a very routine life. Um, I like things in order. I like to know what's going to happen. I'm very risk averse. As a, I mean, I'm an attorney, that's basically my job. His life is changing careers every few years, um, always on the move, never having a home base. The only thing we have in common is that we're both really social and can talk to anyone, um, which is why I think we have always gotten along. I think he would call my life pretty boring and I would call his life like chaotic. My sister and I always kind of say his Peter Pan life. Um, and I would definitely be the windy of that. Of just like, hey, I like to go on an adventure sometimes, and I did that at a part of my life, but he'll never, um, that'll never be something in his past. That will always be his life. 
let's just, let's just have a good time. Okay, okay. Okay, here we go. All right. I mean, I think this can go one of two ways. I think that there's some conflict there in that he's really anchored himself to Indiana with the food truck and the child, and at the same time wants to, you know, do, you know, hike the mountains and, and you know, walk across the entire country, which necessitates him not being here. I don't know if the food truck and the baby are gonna be transformative for him and he's just going to stay here and do that, or it's going to be, or there's going to be some triggering event like what happened after the election. Yeah. He's like, all right, I just need to pick up and leave and he'll just like disappear for six or eight months. Arrived. Sarah's grandmother passed away last night, so that was, that was a thing. <laughs> this is quite a night. I used to work in the state house and I lived just north of the state house, the first building north of the state house. So I would wake up in my bedroom, faced the state house, which was, you know, you're having bad days <laughs> and you have to go to work. It's always pleasant to be able to see your office directly from your window, from your window. Which I'm pretty sure is what contributes to the anxiety of me deciding that I can no longer be do politics anymore. We're trying to figure out like nanny stuff because Claire's going to eventually have to go back to work and you know, she works different hours than I do because she's a lawyer and she runs her firm and she's got obligations after that for mom and other wives. So she's like, we're talking about mom and she's got to get a car. I can't afford a car right now. Like literally every penny that I have, save for a few, is not nearly enough to pay for a car insurance and parking. Um, go to this, so my two babies, my baby, actual son, <laughs> and this, this truck, yeah, so that's been a little bit of anxiety for me the last 24 hours, but I'll figure it out. Okay, let's make some noise. degrees right now. During the summer, we keep the door open. Sometimes we get up to around 90, 92 degrees. If you have a lot of donuts, like especially what we're doing today, that means that they're all going to be rising at the same time, and I cannot fry them all at the same time. As a chef, as a baker, I care. I want your products to be as close to what they're intended to be. I like folks to be able to try my donuts fresh, as fresh as I can. The reality is sometimes you can have to box them up like today. We're going to try doing them six at a time just so we can do this a little bit faster. It's not really an art, so sometimes they'll puff up like that. We'll do that, you can just do that. We're going to do 50 of each flavor and then we're going to do another run through where we're going to do 10 of each flavor. So either 50 or 60, however I can get on, on one sheet. So this should be 30. So I just have to make 20 more of these and then switch to the next. Alright, so it's 36. This will be 48. Okay. Alright. Okay, so we're gonna do 50 of these guys. These are gonna be the pumpkin pie. Which are gonna look remarkably like the maple. But yeah, it's going pretty well. Yes. Right, now we're done. How many did we make? 180. 180. The fillings are supposed to be the stars, the bells of the ball here.
Alright, here we go. Take these guys down. Okay. Oh, oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> We kind of joke sometimes, but this this entire business is built by this baby. I, I always planned on having a bakery eventually, like, but years from now, um, and just kind of turn that completely around and, and reverse that uh, and move that to the front. But it's, this, this baby is what what like inspired everything, and so everything is about him. And like you're, you know making donuts, but also like, you know, buying diapers. And when you have a pregnant uh, parenting partner at home, because, uh, again, which is weird, because we're, we're not living together. We're not together. We just decided to have a baby together because we've known each other for, you know, almost 15 years. And we decided that we would be great parents together. Just get rid of the, the romance and the intimacy part and just focus all of your combined efforts on this, on this child. It's what we've done. I can't tell if you're still hungry or you're just playing with your tongue. He just discovered his tongue and now he's sticking it out. AJ thinks he's trying to say his first word. Hi, I was like, there's no way he's not doing that. But it's, but it's cute. You're gonna be reading by the age of six months. But you're still pooping your pants. Since he kind of moved out, because he lived here for the first six weeks, our parenting schedule is that I have him Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, then Saturday around noon, AJ comes and stays here, and stays here Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I don't worry about them. He's more neurotic about schedules than I am. He just likes um, data. Like he loves to input data and then apply it and then see it work. Plus, I mean, it's something for him to, it's a project. And what else is he, you know, what else are we doing? There's certainly no other projects that he's working on besides the food truck, so. Once we're both just <sighs> moving and grooving, mm -hmm. it'll be, it'll either be chaos all the time or it'll run like clockwork. Starting route to restaurant depot. Sorry, hold on. Head south on Graceland <laughs> Avenue, turn. then turn left onto West. I'm trying to send money for the baby. Okay. All this is set up then though. Okay, so our adventure. We're gonna go to the restaurant depot. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get a bunch of butter. <laughs> Put a bunch, bunch of butter, cream, um, ducks. <laughs> but I'm also going to be turning in my application for my own business. So we'll try to get through that as quickly as possible. Um, they, shut, they close at 6, so I imagine we're just going to be in and out because I know where pretty much everything is that we need to get. This uh, ratatouille, the ratatouille that I make, uh, <laughs> the vegetables don't exist really. These are the Maple Leaf Farms, which is here in Indiana. Uh, halal ducks. Uh, oh, this right here. Yes. Okay, perfect. Now nine nine dollars per pound. So this is five dollars. Is forty five dollars. Oh, this is awesome. Uh, baker's yeast. So this is what I this is fresh yeast. This is what I use, but I have to buy the little ones from uh, Whole Foods. So I don't need. Uh, shit, I'll get some right now. We're official. Um, and then I put, I, I got my ticket to San Diego for Thanksgiving. Did you 
you put it on? And I see it. I see you put it on the calendar. There. Put it on your calendar. <laughs> it's, it's all there. How was work? Good. Um, the new associate came in and we did her orientation. Yeah. He was down for three and a half hours for his nap, but uh, I think he probably only slept maybe two hours of that. So. Uh, okay, so diaper bag. There's also outfits. They're all washed in the um, special baby dress, whatever. whatever it is. I think. So. Um, <laughs> it's a very masculine diaper bag. This is Vanessa gave to me. I think this is actually her diaper bag. But anyway, I'm just gonna keep this here um, since Thanks. She's AJ's not... ex-girlfriend, <laughs> who I dated after you, <laughs> my ex fiance <laughs> I leave tomorrow morning, and I get back on Monday. First couple days with away from the baby. I'm not worried. Very good. He doesn't seem very phased by my absence this week. <laughs> so. I think he's getting sick. He's like, oh, time. somebody giving me food. <laughs> oh, this lady's back. It's like when I hang out with daddy, we do physical education. Alright, see you buddy, see you in the morning, alright? See you in the morning. I have noticed, like by the fourth day, when I'm just here by myself with him all the time, you get a little stir crazy. You're really isolated, it's not like you have family and friends coming to visit the baby that would normally happen. So I think both of us by the last day that we have him, are really ready to pass him off. I think that's okay because when the food truck starts, you're going to be around people all the time. The plan is that he's going to stay until 2022 and then he's going to go on the hike. But I can see like if the food truck really takes off, if he gets more than one, like he won't be able to leave. Um, he said before like, well, if I have people working for me, I'll be able to go. And I'm like, that's not how a small business works. Like you can't leave for six to nine months. I have friends and family here. I'm still interacting with my office every day. Like I'm talking to my partners. I have a significant other who, you know, has kids himself, so we don't see each other a lot, but you know, so I have a lot of things going on and a lot of support and he hasn't lived here for five years. So mm -hmm. his friend group is dispersed. Um, I'm, the only kind of consistent person around and we switch off like we're not if one of us is here the other one usually isn't so we're not just sitting around together all the time so I think that's wearing on him um, in fact I know it is it's just you're here with this baby and you're not talking to anyone but a baby it's temporary it really is but two months can seem like a long time when you're sitting here with just this baby like Hi, I'm gonna read another story. He's been more serious than I thought he would be about taking care of Rhett. He's really risen to the occasion. And now, after spending so much time with his son, I feel like his plans are gonna change. He loves Indy. He absolutely does. I mean, he ran for office here. Like, he's clearly passionate about the city. And all of his travels, are basically just going to be food influenced. I mean, he wants to give Indy the flavors that he's tried. So Jar just uh, texted me, said, what are you doing tonight? So this is like literally my social life is go hang out with Jar, talk about food, go home at midnight, go to sleep, wake up, baby. You figure out the baby and you figure out, okay, now we've got him sleeping the right way and, you know, eating the right way. And, you know, I don't need to be here seven days a week full time, start figuring out, okay, what is my life going to look like? Because I never really had that opportunity because I literally got here March 1st and then COVID happened and then that was it. Seven months later, the challenge is trying to figure out how, like, what life is going to look like for a while. Is that work, life, baby balance, I think is important. I want to give this kiddo the best life possible. I'd love to be able to have this truck be a success. I just want to feed people. <laughs> like I said, that's my, that's my love language. And I want to do that. And I want to help out the community. I want to pay it forward. I want to keep being creative and, and creating stuff.